Gold had a fantastic year throughout 2023 from a low price of £1,439 per ounce to an all-time high of £1,647. So gold does look very strong going into 2024. How does it predict to look into the future and how will that affect your portfolio and your goals going into 2024. So the future for gold does look very, very bright going into 2024. The year 2023 was a fantastic year for gold bullion. It gave some great opportunities to buy gold at a relatively low price per ounce at £1,439. But it also gave great reassurance to current gold stackers and investors when it recently reached an all time high of £1,647. So the indications do look strong for gold going forward into the following year, being 2024 and beyond. How will that affect, though, your investments, your portfolio and your gold future investments going forward into 2024? Well, it's only looking positive for gold, really, and that can only lend a great perspective to your current investment portfolio. Whether you have a small holding in gold bullion or you're predicting to stack more gold bullion going forward in the future, it looks like gold is still very strong and it's not breaking anytime soon. Now, the closing of 2023 is upon us. It's currently December. We're coming to the end of our investment year. Some of you will have had very, very positive portfolios throughout your investment journey of 2023. And maybe some of you won't have had the yields that you are hoping for. So this is a very, very good time being the end of the year to have a look at how your portfolio performed regarding your investments, be it index funds, property, precious metals, or even crypto. And it will also give you a good perspective on how to adjust your goals, your ambitions, and your New Year's resolutions going forward into 2024. Now, me personally, I like to keep myself very, very motivated and I'm very, very ambitious. So every year to keep myself motivated and on track for my target goals, I like to write New Year's resolutions. Now, I did this last year as I do every year. Now, I only had four goals on my New Year's resolution list for 2023. And I achieved two out of four of those goals. And to be fair, the two that I achieved were the ones that I wanted to achieve the most. And the other two were back burners that never really came to fruition. Now, one mistake I normally make is I make very, very simplistic and easy targets on my New Year's resolution goals. But for me personally, I'm looking to have a very, very strong performance going into 2024. So this time, I've set more ambitious and lofty goals for my plans going forward into 2024. Now, why have I done that? That's because me personally, I want to exponentially expand the net worth and the diversity of my investment portfolio. And not only that, I have set my own self-development goals in my New Year's resolution. So it's not always about investments and money, but sometimes it can be about self-development. Now, uh, some sayings I'm going to throw out for you right now will give you a little bit of an indication on how you can achieve some of your goals. Now, one I really, really like is don't live a champagne lifestyle on a lemonade wage. I like to budget very, very well, and I like to work out my finances. And this allows me to work out exactly my affordability on the lifestyle I currently have and the investments and the savings that I'm able to do. And going forward, that allows me to really create a very, very diversified, strong and secure investment portfolio. Now, also going back to my New Year's resolution goals, this year I'm going for much more ambitious, lofty 
targeted goals. The reason being is because I want to aim for the moon and if I miss, I'll still end up in the stars. And I absolutely love that saying because it just gives you so much motivation going forward into the coming year of 2024 that you can set some really, really high, lofty, ambitious goals for yourself as self-development and for your portfolio. And if you miss, don't worry because you'll still end up in the stars. Now, if you're not one for setting big goals, maybe you're not someone that really ever wants to set New Year's resolution goals either. That's absolutely fine because it's all about a work-life balance. Now, you can watch my video, you can watch other people's videos, but it all comes down to what your personal goals, desires and happiness require. For me, I'm very ambitious. I'm relatively young, although I am getting on a little bit, I've got a lot of plans and a lot of goals. And that gives me a lot of drive, a lot of fire and a lot of passion. But if you're somebody who is the same age and just isn't really interested in them sort of goals, that's absolutely fine because it isn't about me. It's about you. And that's the great thing about investing. You can take and choose all of the information you watch and read from bits and sources everywhere. And you can take those snippets and put them into your own portfolio and self-development plan. Now, I want to say a big, big factor for growing yourself as a person and as an entrepreneur and investor is networking. I found this absolutely invaluable. And I just want to say one big shout out to someone who has massively helped me throughout 2023. And that is a fellow YouTube content creator called 365 Days of Silver. Without his support, the networking that I've managed to become friends with that person being 365, he has helped me exponentially grow my YouTube channel and my portfolio investments, predominantly um, investing in index funds, which set me on the journey from my S&P 500 and now onto the FTSE 100 and more going forward into 2024. So a big shout out to 365. Thank you so much for your support as a friend, as a teammate in the investment community. I just want to let you guys know that networking is absolutely crucial for building your goals going forward into 2024. So that is goals most successful year of 2023 and the goals for gold, your self-development and your own personal targets going into 2024. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please let me know in the comment section if you set New Year's resolution goals and if you want to share them, I'd be very, very pleased to see what your New Year resolution goals are for 2024. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. A huge shout out to the channel members. You make up a very large proportion of the channel's revenue. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all in the very next episode. Bye bye.